And hello everybody, uh, my name is Alphonse Zeus, welcome to another episode of Evolving Tuesday, aka Xbox 360 Gameplay. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uh, been recording, but uh, during the time of this recording, I'm going through finals right now, you know, so I haven't been able to record that much lately. But what I have been, you know, kind of tr trying to catch up on is this uh, recently released uh, fighting game called Skullgirls. Um, I'm not sure if any of you heard of it. Um, this is actually like a downloadable uh, game on the Xbox Live Arcade. And, you know, it's not made by any of the, you know, the big publishers, you know, like Capcom, uh, Namco, but it's actually formed um, from, like, you know, this up-and-coming uh, publisher and developer that, uh, you know, that was actually worked on by actual tournament uh, players that, you know, helped create this game. And, you know, let's get right into it. Uh, we're probably going to start you off with uh, pretty much, you know, a story playthrough. I've managed to uh, kind of like you know get myself acquainted with it, uh, especially th through the tutorial. And let me just say that um, this tutorial, in particular, is probably the hardest tutorial in a fighting game ever. Because let's just say that um, if you have to say like you know block X number of attacks or you know tech out of these grabs X number of times, if you mess up at any one time, you have to start over because you have to make all those blocks or techs like in a row not like overall and uh... you know I, just, I gotta say if you're looking for a channel Skullgirls definitely is coming up as a really great uh... a really great game like I can probably see this thing at Skull, uh... at uh... you know EVO maybe even like some of the later tournaments uh... uh... as the year goes on and I'm really looking forward to uh... you know playing this game and you know see how it is like the characters even though there's only like eight of them they are very unique they like have like you know their own unique personality, own unique like you know move set, and you know you have strategies for each one. And I don't, out of all the eight that I have played through so far, I got to say that Sarah Bella is probably my favorite. Like <laughs> I love that grapple character she has, especially like you know, especially, especially like her supers or blockbusters as they call them in this game. Very you know very well done, and you no know, I can't find it. <laughs> Uh, I guess like if I would go two on two though, I'll probably bring along Parasol. Not because she's also one of my favorite characters, but I like her. Um, I definitely like her pokes. Her pokes are really good. She has long range, and her blockbusters are very good. Like one blockbuster can be an OTG or off off the ground uh, move or on the ground. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's get right to it. What do you think is just like Oh my god. Vice versa, the name of that? Okay. Vice versa. Damn. Okay. Uh, no. Oh my god. Hello. So funny. And like, I don't know, I played through like most of the other um, Skullgirls, aside from uh, outside of Valentine and Double. Um, the, the story mode, so, oh, they're, they're fantastic. You only play them with, you know, one character, so you, know, you don't have a chance to play a uh, tag team or a triple team, but, you know, it's really uh, awesome. Oh, I think we can skip something there. <laughs> and, and I also heard that there are going to be like more DLC characters coming along. I hope that you know they'll be able to like look look forward to it, especially with um you know some of the uh, characters that would appear in uh, some of the other Skullgirls storylines. Um, I don't know like so far like up up until playing Cerebella, I've really enjoyed uh, Peacock's story. Peacock's story was definitely like you know it was a heart warmer. It like you know it, like, the character is very lovable. And I love her keep away game. Her keep away game is probably like, you know, th this is like the best thing you want to have like as an assist on your team. Because you can just like, you know, if you need to get away in the tree, whatever, like Peacock can send in like, you know, a bomb, a plane, a whatever else. <laughs> so, uh, you know, now I'm trying to uh, see if I can try and get the rest of the story mode done. I try going through arcade mode, and arcade mode is interesting because it goes from like, you know, two, uh, you know, two of the, uh, that one, great, 
I just skipped out of my talk. Um, two, oh yeah, two teams. Like, you know, you, sometimes you play, like, two teams, other times you play teams of three, and of course at the end boss, you have to play just that one really annoying boss. Like, I faced a lot of annoying bosses before, but the one in Skullgirls especially is, um, one of a, what, something that I don't, like, I'm not, like, I almost do my controller at my TV for this. Uh, it's, you know, like, I'll, don't worry, I'll talk to you more about it when we get there, unless, you know, you already know the final boss. Uh, let's see here. Apparently, so, oh, it's the only one that's actually starting off pretty well. With the circus star with a big top, I mean, from the big top. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah. So it's like a. Somehow this screams out circus mafia to me. Oh, wait, why do you have fortune? Oh, it is fortune, okay. So it's survival. Oh wow, okay. Interesting because like I don't know, kind of spoiler because we have like uh, people that are against the Medici's, others that are for the Medici's. Actually I think only Sarabella so far is actually for the Medici family. Uh, let's see. This is interesting. This is really very interesting. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's just hope I don't lose the first one. I'm trying to remember, like, because her level 3 blockbuster, oh my god, I never, like, <laughs> I, I was so badass. That, like, I don't know, don't you'll, you'll see if I get, get a chance to actually use it, because I can just, like, do that and then chain it to another, um, another uh, blockbuster. Okay. Philia, like, one of the things I like about Philia is that, oh my god, because like, yeah. one thing I like Philia is that uh, Philia is kind of like that innocent kind of type of girl, just that you don't realize that she has like a freaking parasite on her head. Makes you realize, like, wait a second, okay, that's probably just becoming part of her hair, or is she really bald? <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Oh, rivals. I wonder, because I also played, like, pretty much I played all the other Skullgirl storylines up to Cerebella, and since Valentine and De Double are still locked, um, let's see here. Oh, wow. What is this? <laughs> oh, my God, can't fight. This, I wonder if Cerebella even knows about like uh, how hated the, the DC family is. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I thought I wouldn't face her until like, you know, second to last fight. Alright, let's see, yeah. It's what I remember, because that head, I've never, like, the only uh, fighting game characters I remember that take off the head and stuff was Elisa from Tekken 6. And oh my god. Even though that her head explodes, like Miss Fortune's head, oh man. It's like you it's like you can do some crazy ass mix up in there. Yeah, super armor. <laughs> now her level 3, pretty much if you took a page on the whole book. <laughs> Where you just get a big boulder, throw it up, and do that. Now if it lands and it hits, I can actually try and time that in with the other blockbuster super where you just attack windmill the opponent. That's like one of the, that's like a pretty awesome combo though, even though that's kinda hard to set up. Uh, 